It's a couple Jordan 1 retros and they gotta be in your collection You just collect them, you never gon' step in I can respect it, but that ain't for me I gotta lay so deep, let's see me threes and throw a little fit together Get on the go L, play some bid and hopefully I can just hit forever I'm from the bottom of the one around with this part of our culture, you gotta be fly Well flowing with the Air Forces, put that shit on to the day that I die Nikes over Adidas, bitch What's going on YouTube? It's your boy the Retro Wiz Kid, the Shoeologist and y'all rocking with your boy in the sneaker dungeon, y'all. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Today, y'all, first things first, I know y'all see the thumbnail, man. We got some early heat in the building, y'all. I'll be giving you guys a full detail review over the Air Jordan Retro 12 Amamun Year, the white pair, which is set to release on March 2nd for a suggested retail of $225. Now, before we get all the way into that, let's talk about today. We had the Air Jordan Retro 1 True Blue. First Jordan 1 to release this year, and uh, I mean, if you want them, you could get them. You know, they sitting all over Nike. You know, we had the women's pair of the Mars 5s that dropped. I could not find those in store today, so I was not able to take a peek at them. But let me just backtrack before we get into that review and tell you guys about what happened today. So I called up to Foot Locker. They said they had pairs. I end up going up there, and when I get there, the employee is like, I got a size 11. But she was like, you can wait till after 4 o'clock and come back to see if my boyfriend wants them. If he doesn't want them, then you can purchase them. I was like, the f like, <laughs> where they do that at? You feel me? Like, you know what? It is what it is. I went on ahead, pulled a trigger over there on Nike. Probably purchased that shoe around about 2.30, 3 o'clock this afternoon. So, it is what it is. It's one that I wanted to get. I thought the colorway was simple, but actually very fire, in my personal opinion. I was able to and see them in hand today at Foot Locker. And I mean, a decent sneaker, man. Not Nice way to start it off. Some people might, a lot of people must have passed on them because of the way that they are doing right now. And resale isn't crazy. But on to what you guys want to see. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Head over to Instagram, follow your boy at the Retro Wiz Kid, where I'll be posting pictures at. And y'all can check out the fit. I will probably drop the picture tomorrow over there on Instagram so you guys can see what I had on today. But with all that being said, let's get into these I'm my man year 12s, you dig? Ah, yes, sir. Y'all, so I'm really digging the vibes of how they did the box presentation on this one right here. Always keeping it classic. You know, we get in that pullout slide like what we got on all the other ones. Only difference is this one right here having the black instead of having like a white type of cover where we have white all over it. So I think that this is definitely dope. And I think they're going to do this on both of the 12s. I could have sworn when I saw the black pair that they had that they had the same type of cover. Now, when it comes down to the box, here's some close up looks at the box of course regular air jordan 12 box jump man on the top quality inspired by the greatest player ever of course you get hit with the amama year in the Jumpman logos on the box on both sides of it. Now this is the Women's Air Jordan 12 Retro SP White Black Burgundy Crush, and of course this is in women's sizing and men's sizing. Of course, women's sizing at the top with a size 11, men sizing at the bottom with as a nine and a half. Suggested retail on these $225. March 2nd is when they're supposed to drop. Now when you pop that lid open, I must say that I think that this is a very nice touch. I like how they switch up the way that they do the inside of this area right here when it comes to the Air Jordan Amama Year collabs. We've seen different type of pictures on the inside and this one right here, of course you guys can see, you know, y'all know what picture that is, you know what I'm saying, MJ hunched over, a little sick, you know what I'm saying, feeling a little sick right there, you feel me? And then also getting hit, just like we got with the other ones, you have white tissue paper in there. And we in there, yes lord, yes lord y'all, we have the Amama Year Jordan 12 in this white colorway and I must say man look I don't know I love Air Jordan 12s man I mean I love Jordans but you know I love the Air Jordan 12 silhouette I just feel like it's always crispy with a pair of denim shorts 
joggers. It don't even matter. It's just one of those that I feel like you can just throw on at any time. And I just always have liked the build and the shape of the 12 and how it looks on feet. If you are an Air Jordan 12 lover, this one right here is definitely a must cop for this year for 2023. Now let's go ahead and turn the camera around and get some close up looks on these sneakers. And when it comes to the upper of this sneaker, we have a white tumbled leather upper on these. When it comes to that burgundy right there, Yes, you do have that front back stroke to these things right here. And I will tell you that I dig the vibes of it. I like how the Jumpman plate blends in. I'm telling you, this upper reminds me of the old velour outfits that people was rocking back in the day. Sean John, Platinum Fubu, all that good stuff like that. Hey, it's a vibe. White pods down there, carbon fiber in the middle, white jump man down there with the 2-3 as well. And then moving back, just focusing in on that area right there, it reminds me of a velour suit. You do have white wax laces in these. You have the jump man logo at the top. And instead of having another jump man logo, you have the Ama Monier logo go right there and i dig the vibes of that black two three back there and then you have jordan on one side i'm on my on the other side but still having that quality inspired by the greatest player ever back there and right here you guys can see the nice little touches that they did with the logo right here we have the protruding jump man logo as well as the i'm on my logo or as i like to call it kind of like a 3d vibe you guys can see it right here as i lift it up it's coming out and everything and i think for a collab is dope then of course continuing with the quilted sock liner on this pair right here so one thing that i really wanted to show you guys was this insole this insole has the ama manier logo all over it and then you have that white jump man the best way to describe this insole is that if you the texture of how it feels if you got the east side golfs that came out last year that is the same way that these feel because you know you had the mud on one side and then you had the green grass on the other insole and I feel like this is the best way to describe the feeling of this but I do like how they have the Ama Manier logo going along the whole inside of it. It's a collab sneaker. $225 for the price point. Of course you look for those nice little small things that they bring to the sneaker that make you feel like you're getting the bang for your buck. I mean I love the fact that you do have the little hang tag. I'll never wear the hang tag on the sneaker but I just always think that it's dope that you get different hang tags for all the different I'm on my years as well as I like how they did the little small little change right here instead of having two jump mans you got the I'm on my year logo right there on the second one and the jump man right there just the small little details you know giving us this 3d print right here type vibe for the a and then right there on the right shoe you getting hit with the jump man with that wax laces no extra laces which i'm not too mad about that we didn't get extra laces with the air jordan fours so i'm not mad about that quilted sock liner i think that that's also a plus small little details that they did to this sneaker just like switching up the back putting the ama manier on the right shoe but still having that quality inspired by the greatest player ever I think that that's always a nice touch to a sneaker and I'm really digging the vibes of these I want to see what the black pair looking like for me This is definitely gonna be a must cop this year for 2023 I wouldn't be surprised if people throw these in their top 10 because the quality on these I'm talking about nice plush leather when it comes to the Air Jordan lineup with the Ama Manier collabs I feel like they just can't miss G you know what I'm saying hopefully they will stay like that because I definitely feel like they did not miss on these right here I think people that get their hands on these even if you got to pay to play for them I would definitely say wait a little bit to when they're coming out you guys already know what time it is when it comes to the Ama Manier's they cost a little bit more way before the release but as we get the release and of course I'm pretty sure we will see a release over on Ama Manier social status will probably release them you know sneakers gonna release them so prices should, I'm hoping, sit around about four something for these. Maybe, maybe five, depending on how hyped up they become and people really want them. But I'm hearing a lot of people saying that they like the black pair over the white pair. I personally, because I've seen these in hand and I just like the white vibe of the upper on these, I feel like this one right here might be my favorite out of the 12 lineup. But you already know your boy trying to get on both. But... That is today's video for you guys. Early look. Comment down if you guys picked up the True Blue Air Jordan 1s to go with the True Blue 3s. And of course, you know, we had that True Blue 
mid that came out a couple of, well a while ago you know that kind of gave off the real vibe of being a true blue with the elephant print and everything like that but this one right here having the nike air branding a lot of people slept on these i feel like and i mean or maybe it was just a lot of them made and nobody wanted them but normally january we see a lot of people we see a lot of sneaker releases sit so i'm not surprised at all by the way that this release went and let me know if y'all ever went in a foot locker and somebody just been like yo i'm holding this shoe for my boyfriend you know employee talking about some comeback at this time if you don't want to be i'll sell them to you ah crazy shit out here in washington man i tell you man but it is your boy the retro wiz kid i will spin the pictures for you guys until the next video y'all stay safe out there peace love in laguna beach and we out this thing get it it's a couple Jordan 1 retros and they gotta be in your collection You just collect them, you never gon' step in I can respect it, but that ain't for me I gotta lay so deep, let's see me threes And throw a little fit together Get on the go, L, place a bid And hopefully I can just hit forever I'm from the bottom